So, welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, checking out some new player transportation systems I've been working on. So, the first one, if I can just get on this planet, is the uh, pilot deployment. So, as you can see, just in front of me, I've got two ships here to show you. The first one is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a space underneath so that you can get in the core but uh, I, I changed the design so you can get in from the top. Um, the reason there's a little footplate is because I found that in order for this to work, you need to be actually stood on the ship. So if I stand just here, this is a uh, astronaut sort of launch platform. So if I hit the gravity now, off I fall, and then I'm in space. There you go. So there's an easy way for people to get to their ships if they're not actually, you know, uh, docked or landed on the planet. To get back down, just simply walk, and you'll be back into the uh, back in the gravity well. Um, after making the first one, I decided to try and make it smaller, and this is what I've made. I've got one power core underneath the gravity unit, a core gravity unit, and four engines just for moving it into position. The trick to it is to park it upside down. So you stand here, hit the gravity, and then we fall into space. And obviously that gave me an idea. Now, these were inspired in part by uh, RIP's ultimate drop ship, which was a thousand meters plus. Okay, and what I've done is I've effectively built one of those and put it on its side. And now we actually have like Futurama um, vacuum tubes, if you want. I'm gonna call these, uh, I'm gonna call this grav tubes because you could build a tube around this and anyway, you'll see what I mean. So, again, I don't think it works if, yeah, it doesn't work unless you actually stand on the ship. So you stand on it, hit the button, and off we go to the other end of the planet, or wherever you finished building it. Now, I made a little platform to stop on. Whoop, ah, looks like you can actually clip it. But hang on. Oh, that's even better, you can get off wherever you want. I thought you had to ride it to the end. Oh yeah, so I'm just going to go back. Now just so you can see, I'm traveling the entire width of the planet pretty much. Okay, this is going to be a short one because I'm still refining this, this idea, but I think it's pretty simple and you can see where I'm going with this. So for getting around planets really quickly, we can build these sort of Futurama style tubes. This is just a ship, and the idea is you build the tube around it. The player comes up, if you make this sort of flatter, you know, a bit like over here, I've made a on the first one I made a platform going round it, so I'm just gonna build that into this. And anyway, boom. What's going on? Uh-oh, I think I actually broke it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I think it's slowly falling into gravity. Go on. Dunk. Very good. Right then, so where was I? Uh, demonstrating uh, this contraption. So, I'm uh, gonna go tab G, yeah. Right shift, right, jump onto it and hit the gravity block. Nice, that's more like it. So as you can see, we're just zooming along. What did I do? Did I break it? I broke it. I made it all the way to the end last time, promise. Well, it works, definitely. I was using it quite a few times, and then I think because I moved the ship, it caused all kinds of problems. I thought about docking it, but you can't really dock things on their sides and have them protrude through the bottom of the ship like this, because you need to extend the gravity well. I mean, for the for the astronaut launcher, it works just fine, but... Uh, right, so, here we are, we're on it, and go. Don't touch anything this time. See if it just stops on its own. Last time it just, ah, so if you don't touch anything, yeah, bang, and you're at the end. And the idea would be then you'd have another one set up pointing back the way you came. So, um, yeah, that's my idea. Uh, do with it what you will. It'll work much better if you don't make it this long. That's something which uh, <laughs> I've proven just by doing this little short little video here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, effectively, I just wanted a, um, something to build a glass tube around so you could get those sort of Futurama vacuum cubes sort of things going on. And it works. So, uh, that was a successful test. Uh, I'm also going to say these are pretty good too. These are so simple. You just turn them upside down and you're in space. 
I kind of like this. Woo! <laughs> and then you're in space. It's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, must have for anyone who's building a planet, because it can be annoying sometimes if you uh, are in gravity. And also quite a neat little way of getting to hidden places as well, if you were thinking of doing things like that. So, uh, that's from me. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.